Hey guys, it's Charles with Bone Attack and Training. Today we'll be going over running the buffer. You'll notice here, it's going to have two buttons on either side, as well as two red triggers on either side. To get this machine running, you'll need to press one of the buttons in as well as pull one of the triggers. Either or does not matter. Something that's kind of person specific is finding the area that you like to run your buffer at. I like mine about waist high. I've seen people use them about chest high. I've seen people use them about knee high. Somewhere in between there is usually proper. Something to note about this machine is that you are not going to overpower it or, mus or, or over muscle it. It can get away from you and I'll show you an example of that right here. If you saw what I did, I actually just let go of the handle when it started to go away from me. When I felt losing control, I let go of the handle, but I kept, I let go of the trigger, I'm sorry, but I kept firm grip of the handle. Here at Bono, we obviously always preach ear protection, eye protection, wearing glasses, so we're covered there. And we got the ear protection here. I'm gonna go over how to run this machine. Something to think about that I always like to say when I'm training is the slightest push down on the machine will lead you left. The slightest pull up on the machine will lead you right. But one thing that's important is you gotta find your center of the machine. What I mean by that is like right now, that's my center. Right there's my center where I can run it and it's not going anywhere. Again, push down leads left, pull up leads right. Something else you want to talk about when running your buffer is cord management. You'll see I have both these cords on my left hand side as if I was doing the room from this far back corner to over here. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the links below or feel free to call the tech line.